I don't have a rash on my ass anymore. Don't wanna be an American idiot. It's gonna get real. Okay, so hey guys, um, today is going to be a weird video. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting, by the way, it's just student accommodation, like you can't really get good lighting anywhere. It's a struggle, but it's fine. We can deal with it. Um, yeah, so today is like a story time, embarrassing stories, and I'll probably end up putting more than one in the video. Basically what happened was the other night when my friend Beth, who you would have seen in the uh, Edinburgh vlog, um, when she was staying over at mine before she went back down to London and we were sitting and it was quite late and for some reason we just started telling each other all these like embarrassing stories that had happened to us but I was so tired that I've forgotten what stories I told her so I have like no recollection and I always find it really difficult for me to actually remember my embarrassing stories and I don't know if it's like trauma or if it's literally just the, the fact that I don't get that embarrassed usually like I don't feel embarrassment very often very rarely do I feel embarrassment which I think is a good thing in some sense but also a bad thing because when I do feel embarrassment I think I kind of shut it off or pretend I haven't felt embarrassed and forget about it so I can't tell stories about it but this is one that's less embarrassing but more kind of funny also I uh, meant to say bring your teas or coffees or whatever. If you don't like hot drinks, put a cold drink or whatever your drink of choice is and put it in a mug so you're like me because that's what I've done. Oh, you can't show you, but I don't like hot drinks very much. I like coffee sometimes, but it has to be like a latte and from like a certain place, like I won't like just like, you know, I have to buy it. Like I wouldn't want to make it myself. Um, but I'm drinking apple and mango fresh juice, so. So I think like everyone, I was having a kind of lazy day, I didn't want to do anything and then my mum woke me up, well woke me up, I was already awake but I was like lying in bed and my mum said to me, look your auntie and your cousin are coming down for the day, um, they're coming to visit so you need to like get up. So I was like, okay. So. Because I knew they were coming, I went and got ready and whatever, like I was looking presentable. So they come over and because I live on, well I lived um, on the Isle of Butte, which is just like, it's an island so it's got loads of beaches and stuff. My auntie and my cousin aren't from there so they wanted to go and see the beaches and all that so because it's something I'm used to, I don't feel like... I want to go visit it very often, very rarely do I want to go to the beach. Obviously if it was like abroad and it was warm and things, yes, but in Scotland, there's no enjoyment for me. So, but anyway, they wanted to go and I was like, I'm not going, sorry, I'm not doing it. And every time they come down, like they want to go to the beach and I just always say no because I really, I don't like the beach. I don't, I really don't. But it's fine. So I was like, no, I'm not going to go, like, sorry. And for some reason that day, everyone was just like, Emma, come on, come on, come on. So I was like, okay, I'll come with you. So I was already kind of like, I wouldn't say irritated, but like I was like, I was tired and I just wanted a lazy day and it was apparent that I wasn't going to have that. So we're in the car and we drove all the way out to Ettrick Bay, which is quite far away I would say for like for an island it's like I don't even know how long I would want to put an estimate on it because it would probably be wrong but it's in my opinion about 20 minutes to half an hour's drive um so we get in the car we're in the car we've gotten all the way to Etcher Bay we come out and we've also taken my dog as well we've come out and immediately my sister and it's, it's summer so it's kind of warm but it's not that warm um and I get cold very easily. Um, so my sister and my cousin run straight out of the car and go right out to the beach. My mum and her sister, who's my auntie, they leave very shortly after. So I'm, my, and they obviously take the dog as well. So I slowly get out of the car because I don't want to be here. 
I really don't want to be here. So I'm like, <laughs> so I'm walking out of the car very slowly and I come out and it's fine, it's chill. Um, I'm on the beach, I'm standing watching them having fun and um, I was just kind of stroking my dog and stuff, just being like, hi, and that was about it. I was really bored because I just don't like the beach. So I was sitting there and I was like, hmm. And my mum and my auntie came back up from the water because I didn't, I didn't go near the water. So they come, come back up from the water and came and spoke to me. And they were like, oh, blah, 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 talking. And then they sat down because there's like a little step to get onto the beach. So it was like a step and then the beach, but the step's not actual step. It's just like grass, but it's like a chunk. Um, and it's all across the whole beach. I don't know if I'm explaining that very well, but I'll put in pictures if I need to. But it's like that sort of thing all around the beach and it's like a kind of seat almost, but it's not, it's a natural seat or whatever made out of mud, well not mud. You know what I'm talking about, right? If you don't, I'm sorry. Um, but basically they sat on that and I was like, oh, I'm gonna sit down too. Mom's like, here, come sit beside me. And like, she moves over and stuff and I sit down and immediately feel itchy, really itchy. So I'm like, that's weird. And I'm moving about and I'm like, I don't know why I'm feeling like this. So I was like, okay. And I, so I, this sounds horrible, but I naturally just kind of went like that, trying to like scratch. And I was like, it's hurt, it hurts. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna stand up and see what's happening. So I was like, mum, my ass hurts so much and it's really itchy and she was like what and we look over where i was sitting and there's a patch just a patch of jaggy nails everywhere else was fine this one patch this tiny little patch where i decided i was gonna sit without realizing had jaggy nails of all the places I could have sat on my like this day where I was just not wanting to do it and I was tired I was bored I wanted a lazy day I just wanted to be in my house and I come out and being a good sport kind of being a good sport and sit on jaggy nails <laughs> you couldn't write it so because I was in this kind of lazy kind of mood I was like Right, that's it. I've had enough, and I kind of, I would say, lost my temper a little bit, and decided I was going back in the car. I was like, I am not sitting on any more grass. I'm not sitting on the beach with this itchy ass. I was like, oh, that was rude. And I was like, I'm going in the car right now, and I'll just wait for you guys. So I sat in the car and saw that I had a Snapchat. So I opened the Snapchat, and it's from a girl that was like in my year at school, and she was like oh, I see you on the beach, because she was working at the ice cream bit, and I was like, ha, that's so funny, nice to see you, or something, and then, like, just, this was all over text, I was like, I'm not going out with my itchy ass, no thanks, so, she said that, so I was like, she's obviously seen me, like, scratching my ass, probably wondering what the frick is she doing, so she probably saw that and was like, hmm, and then messaged me, I don't know, um, so then I was like, right, I need to make an explanation to this. Like, I can't just, like, leave her wondering why I was itching my ass. Like, that's a weird thing to just do is just, like, scratch your ass, like, in public. So I was like, okay, what I'll do is I'll just put it in the whole, like, I don't know why I did this. The whole chat. That's my fridge. Um, I was like, I'll put it in the whole year chat because that makes the most sense. So then if she says to people that I was scratching my ass... Everyone knows why. You see where I'm coming from? So they were all talking on their, it was like a Snapchat group chat and they were all just like saying like blah, 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 blah just random things. And I just messaged and I'm like, ah, I just sat on nettles, worst day ever, ah, ha, 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 ha. The group chat goes silent. The group chat goes silent. The group chat goes silent. The last message that anyone will see is me talking about sitting on jaggy nettles and how my ass is itchy. Like, the... F I just can't. I can't. 
So, um, yeah, that is the story of how I had an entry ass and the whole of my year ended up knowing about it. And no one brought it up to me as well, which was kind of more awkward because I feel like I could have had a joke about it, but everyone just kind of knew I sat on nettles and had an itchy ass and it was great fun. And yes, I ended up having, it wasn't like a rash, but there was no dock leaf, so I couldn't exactly go and like, you know. So I ended up having like a rash, but it was fine. It went away. I don't have a rash on my ass anymore. But um, yeah, it was not a fun experience. So I recommend that um, before you sit anywhere, check check and see if there's nettles or shit or anything like that just don't do what I did <laughs> so yeah um but yeah so that was my horrible embarrassing story which actually now that I'm looking back on it I feel a bit more embarrassed which is kind of good um so I hope you guys really liked it if you did just give it a thumbs up that would be great um and if you want to hear more story times, I'm sure I have a lot more. I just need to go into my brain and remember them. And push the subscribe button down there and you can turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every single time that I post. And if you want to, you can leave comments and suggest video ideas. I don't mind, whatever. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye. Just sat on needles. Right, no, not needles. That would be worse.